Good, man. Sorry, I had to mute your stream. Oh, no. Oh, good. All good. Uh, let me turn on the screen share. We can get a stud in. Yeah. How have you been? How are the games going? They've been going good for the past uh, month since I kind of started playing that. Because last time we did this, um, I took a little bit of a break. Uh, take care of some real life uh, scenarios and whatnot. But then started picking it back up. And um, really picked it back up after I saw the... Uh, the video that you did that we were talking about earlier of you know how to extend your lead um when you get a lead in lane right the, right the wave mechanics and that stuff right there so i was like oh shit like this is actually legit so i didn't just take that as a how to keep your uh lead i also took it as a come back when you're behind kind yeah, of deal as well right? that's usually you know, uh so he's always coming back right yeah so it felt super good i was like wait a second am i just simply stronger than everybody else so like that alone boosted me to gold one and then i realized that i suck again oh, <laughs> well, i guess these are the two <laughs> games you have for me the two most recent ones uh no i have um I, th it's, I think it's the second one that i have for you uh i'll have to double i believe it's that one um one new vein vein new set uh that one is let me pull up my play cv because it's gonna yeah, yeah yeah which which one do you want to start with i guess uh start with the new start with the new vein the one that you got queued up now um okay, okay. and then after we'll do a twitch game and then we'll do a, a are we still is it still three um well it's pretty much how much we can get in an hour right yeah, yeah for sure all right well then if we do the third one then it'll be the caitlin game um, okay sounds good sounds good and uh what, what seems to be the problem what do you think so my biggest problem that I'm facing now is even though I understand the, uh, the concept of how to increase my lead or come back when I lose, uh, it's always I'm losing in the in the first three levels of lane. Uh, okay. So, so... And that, and that's where I find my biggest uh, my biggest weaknesses. Um, pretty much, uh, no matter oh, if I'm yeah. playing Caitlyn, Twitch, or uh, Vayne, because I'm trying to stick to just those three, and then throwing in an Ezreal if there's like a, a Teemo or something on the enemy team. Yeah, right. So uh, let's talk. Let's talk about this. So this is definitely uh, good to talk about. Yeah. So you said you lose lane, or you, you start having problems in the first three levels, right? And we can already tell kind of what's going on here. So, yeah. um, uh, I guess kind of explain to me what are we watching here? Can you see everything okay on Discord? Uh, it's a little. Uh, it's it's actually kind of pixelated, but I see generally what the idea is. And oh, I did watch shit. this. Yeah, and it's alright though, because I did watch this game as well. Um, and even in game, I realized, wait a second, I just traded. Why are the minions still attacking me? You know. All right. So, uh, uh, kind of, what should we be uh, doing here? Yes. Um. Uh, in this, well, oh, there goes the quality. Nice. Um. Oh, is it is it better or bad or worse? A lot better now. Like. Oh, okay. A lot good. better. Yeah. Good, so. Good. Um. What it was before, uh, I guess you could say it's just like. Um. Oh shit. What are we supposed to do here, I guess? Can you still hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? Oh, okay, cool, cool. Uh, so what I would say to do here... Yeah? Are you, are you there? Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, yeah. You, All right. You said you said what we're supposed to do here, and then nothing, and then what? Oh, so what we're supposed to do is I think uh, not die to jungler. Uh, st uh, don't worry about the uh, try not get the support to engage on you, and then just focus on trading. Uh, okay. Why why are we focusing on trading? Um, because worked for me in these in these in the lower gold just like trading out the enemy ad so that way he feels scared to even come up and then just kind of get like a smaller advantages that way okay uh so like okay so why didn't it work here and i think in this specific place because he had a I, I think he started pushing the wave earlier so he had a a, a bigger wave than me he had more minions Mm. So he had more minions, so he's winning, I guess. Right? 
But what if? Yeah, what yeah. about how? How? Okay, so when do minions hit you? Whenever you attack the enemy champion, uh, or like an enemy. But what if he's standing here? Are his minions gonna hit you? No. So kind of their positioning, the minions hitting you is dependent on where you guys are standing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. So let's say you have, let's say you have like twenty minions here, mm -hmm. and you're trading with him like this. What do your do your minions do anything? No, they don't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not necessarily that he has more minions. It's more of an idea that, what? Where are you standing when the minions are uh, are aggroing? When when do we trade? It's like normal trades where minions matter. So I, thinking about that, probably like when either like the wave is equal or when their minions can't hit us. So like they're so we want to trade when they when they are in our wave. Uh yeah, yeah. Uh, you could get it even even easier is when they're in front of their minions, right? Okay. Because if he's behind his minions, his minions will always hit you. So okay. if you look at this, you see a problem now, right? I see what you're saying. So it's like so, because he's behind or even with his minion line, then trading is not really even a good idea at all. Yeah, how do you, how do you do it, right? So that's why I was like, oh, why do you why are you trying to trade? Because how do we do it, right? You can say something yeah. like, I'm gonna Q, I'm gonna tumble his Q. So we're gonna win trades like that. Go for it. Yeah. But that's definitely not what we went for, right? Uh, that, that wasn't the you. idea we went for here, right? So what what should we be do be doing here? If not trading, what should we be doing? Uh, if we're not trading, then I think the biggest thing uh, is just focus on uh, freezing or slow pushing. If you can't freeze, and then uh, not early the levels, longer. first three levels. We're gonna try and freeze first three levels. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, oh. So like. I get what you're saying. So I think uh, the first couple levels, first three, is like to get those levels quicker than the enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to hit level two first, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's I, usually the ultimate goal. Oh, you have a sub? I find that very difficult on Vayne because Vayne can't push to save her life. So which brings, so I guess that's why like the logic brought me into this. Like if I can trade that's him great, out. Hey, this, that's a great point you bring up, right? So here, here's the secret. <laughs> how do you push? How do you push as an ADC? Uh, how do you push as AD? Yeah, how do you push uh, as hard as possible? Abilities? And, uh, and... Without using your abilities, because then they just fuck you up, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, without using your abilities, it just auto attack as much as possible. Like, okay, consistently... I want you to watch this sequence of events. Lucian is trolling. Why? Because he's keep... he's like. Edging in and out as he knows I'm getting hit by his minions. No, 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 no. In, in, in regards to what we just said, how do you push? How do you push as fast as possible? So, you, so what, did you, what did you tell me? What did you tell me? Uh, that, that, that you auto attack the minions as much as possible. Okay, and our goal is get level two over them to guarantee mm -hmm. level two. So why is Lucian trolling now? Because if he were to kill that minion, he would get level two. Well, he's not getting he's not getting level two yet, though, right? I I guess I'm not really I guess I'm not understanding. Uh, so what he's doing is he's messing up because he's not getting level two because he's not pushing as fast as he could. He's not pushing as fast as he could, right? Okay. So what does yeah. that what does that mean? What if you push as fast as you can? Then then I would give myself the best chance to give to get level two first. Exactly. Okay, but what are you doing instead here? I'm friend. trying to trade. Yeah, you're trying to hit that, right? <laughs> this is why yeah, it's like it doesn't, it's something that doesn't make sense here, right? Neither player is going for level two here. Although that is, you know, the most important thing in the first three waves, right? How who can get level two first, right? So you guys always get level two first. All you have to do is just hit the minions. But uh, you guys are like trying to fight or something. I don't know what's going on here. So when I say he's trolling, is because this is your time to hit these minions, and he's not doing anything. Right? I see. And oh, if I you see. stand behind your minions and you hit his minions, what happens if he tries to hit you? And it's a losing trade for him because exactly, he has to right? come into our way. I see yeah, exactly. He's got, you got one minion, he's got zero because he's standing in front of his minions. Right? You see how that works? So we're kind of doing like the opposite of what we want. We're like trying to hit him. We're like giving up our push to hit him. But our trade isn't even good. So like we lost the trade and we lost the push, right? So there's, yeah, there's, there's sometimes where you can say, I can trade so hard that even if they get level two first, that doesn't even matter, right? You can do that, right? But this is definitely yeah. not one of those lanes. Uh, like let's say we have Nami, right? You can do something like that, uh, or Lulu or Janna or whatever. But this is definitely not one of those lanes. You guys need to push, right? 
when in doubt you need to push as hard as possible so you see how like we could have like dumped 10 autos into the wave right and uh, now they're kind of guaranteed to get level two first because you know we couldn't you know we, we we weren't paying attention or we didn't prioritize getting level two right so you see how we need to auto attack on cooldown to mm -hmm. maximize the push to get level two first that's kind of like the if you're losing the first three waves it's because we haven't done this yet Right, so they always get level two first, and then you need to run now. Right, so when they get level two, you need to you need to you need to run because uh, you're just taking a million damage. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's another so, thing. Is if you lose level two, you have to give it up. Mm, right, you can't you can't I see. stay. So there's no point. So like, I, I know like one of the the obvious big thing with uh, getting getting the bigger levels is you get the the other abilities quicker. Uh, but I mean, I guess just more for clarification, level mm -hmm. two those stats are. Can, or, or just you're basically just outsiding them, so it really just makes no the sense. The stats to... are so insane, you can run them down all the way to the tower and tank the whole menu wave. That's how good it like, is, right? Even it, it, no matter what champion you're on, you can literally like, run it down, like, dude. You can literally run it down. It doesn't even matter, dude. You got level two, they level one, you fucking run it down, dude. It doesn't matter what the matchup is, right? The only time it does matter is if their jungle is hiding and waiting for you to do some rundown strat and then uh, you get yeah. ganked, right? So yeah, or yeah. if you're running it down and they hit level two as you're running it down, then you're then you're then you're just inting. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think yeah, that's a big thing because like I used to I used to play Halo professionally and like mm -hmm. Halo, you're you're always on the same footing no matter what is in the game because everyone's everyone has a battle rifle. That's just what oh it is, yeah, right? yeah yeah no no yeah They're definitely now with League right. There's always advantages disadvantages. I mean Halo to an extent I guess like you could say angles or positioning or whatever. But here sure. are stats right there are stat differences right. Or item advantages, or level advantages, or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's definitely the first thing that we're seeing here is you need to fight for level two. And at this elo, if you wonder why Smurfs always win level two, is because we just hit the wave, no problem. And everyone else, what are they doing? I have no idea. We're trying to trade. Yeah, what is yeah. Illusion doing? I don't know what Illusion was doing. He killed a minion and then he didn't push. So I was like, what is he doing? So it's some kind of this. He's missing something. Yeah, he's missing yeah, an idea so somewhere. So. It's not me lacking any type of like fighting mechanic prowess. It's simply me having the wrong idea to start. Yeah, off. yeah, exactly, exactly. It's not like you don't know how to auto attack minions, right? It was like, <laughs> oh, you, 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 you weren't pushing, right? I don't know why, but you weren't pushing, right? But now we know why. You're trying to trade, and uh, now we know why the trading doesn't make sense, right? That was a really good escape from a gank. Mechanically speaking, that was really good. Okay. Thanks. Fast forward, fast forward. Thanks. I want to see some more uh, PVP stuff. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, let's watch this. Yeah, that's kind of like the main thing. If you're having problems, the first three levels, that's definitely it, okay? Is, uh, <laughs> the, the, whoever gets level two first. Uh, you're fine here, I'm pretty sure. And your Eve kills everyone. Good, good, good. Fast forward. Fast forward. We don't have to watch. Oh, never mind. Let's watch this. He trolled. How do you mess this up, bro? Gold. Oh my god. I don't understand. This Eve doesn't know how to use her abilities, apparently. Yeah, like I, I, like, I know like whenever an Eve comes and ganks my lane and I'm like farther in the middle, I'm just insta-dead because she lands a stun and then all of a sudden like there goes all my health. Yeah, Eve's like not anything. even using char- use <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, it's fine. It doesn't matter. It's not your fault. It's good. It was good bait by you. Good, good, good. Yeah. We push this out. Go home. Oh! Okay, we can talk about this. Why do we need to go home? Um... It's like a small, small thing, but good to know. Yeah. So, I know that in our past we've talked about like not hitting a tower because that's like auto losing. Um, I felt oh, like since they just base that we were kind of fine. Right. Right. But let's say you know what happens when they come back to lane. And they can just run you down, I guess. Like no matter what. Okay. When do you get the base? After them. Would they just base though? They're never. They're not going to base anytime soon. They're just coming. They just came back to lane. Uh, so, so, so if I base after they get back to lane because I tried to like push the wave in the tower, yes, yes. then I'm at it. Then I'm at a disadvantage because then they can just push the wave unanswered. Yeah, it, yeah, it, <laughs> yeah. Exactly, right. Uh -huh. So now you see how you lost the wave here. Boom, that's one wave, right? So if we back it up, when was your time to go home? Like, when do we need to be in lane? That should have been when we go home, after I right. killed that last cannon. Right, right, right. We need to come back to lane the same time they do, essentially. Right? You don't want to be out of lane, and then you just push, because then you just lose a wave. So you say, oh, you, got, you, got this, you, got this, you got this plate, right? So, how much money is this? Fast forward. Uh, 80 gold for uh, one 80, plate, uh, right? 80 gold for, two, for between two people, right? 
How much is one wave worth? Um, a lot more, I guess, because like what cat like melees are like what twenty one, and then cast is like eighteen. It's like one hundred and seven or something like that, right? And oh. it has XP, right? So now you know we're down in XP somehow, right? So instead of going for the plating, you need to make sure you catch all the waves first. Unless you need, unless you need that money to like buy a full item or something, right? Um, yeah, usually speaking, we want to be back in lane at the same time they do, or before they do. Otherwise, uh, they're just gonna push. Oh, this is a free gank, so, nice. So, uh, thinking about that, having that idea in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That's kind of how you push your advantage when this really pissed me off because I just oh, I was perma stunned. It was bad, man. Yeah, but like. Uh, to push your advantage when you're still in laning phase, then you need to make sure that you're always there when they are there. Kind yeah, of you don't want them to just, you don't want them to do whatever they want, right? Because, you know, they're just going to make you lose a wave and you lost, you lost potential income, right? Slash yeah. XP. So it's like, oh, you guys pushing the tower didn't really, it didn't really accomplish anything because they just pushed back immediately when they came back, right? So let's talk about this though. This is pretty, uh, this is, this is vein mechanics. What do you think? Uh, I tumbled in. I, yeah, I, I, so I, I made the the mistake because I because I thought like oh I'm about to get this last proc off with a pressy attack like I thought that was gonna kill him. Uh -huh. uh, just in the moment, obviously like now seeing this, like, no, definitely not. But never, yeah, you like, definitely right not, here, right? Right, right there is where I messed up. Like if I'd have stayed away, it'd have been fine. It just yeah. it would have been all fine. So what do we use tumble for on Vayne? Uh, it's a kite away. Yeah, I'll play. Okay, not damage. It's never damage. Because yeah, yeah. if you want it for damage, you max tumble. But that that build doesn't exist anymore, right? So yeah. you you kill them by just auto attacking, and tumble is your outplay tool. So yeah, you kind of like gave away I your outplay tool. For sure. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Like let's say for example, Lee Sin comes here and you tumble and condemn Lee Sin away, easy out, and we kill Sion, right? But yeah, uh, you know we kind of use tumble and correctly. You have like two abilities, condemn and tumble, and yeah. you both use it for outplay. Okay, so that's kind of uh kind of what we're we're seeing in that clip. This is a mechanical idea. Oh no, where are we going? Let's talk about this. Where are we where are we going? Well, like, um, I feel like after you base, you can you can roam to a different lane. Yeah, isn't isn't? No. So that's, this, 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 this is our discussion on um, why do we need to be in lane, right? Is this is seeing a common trend here? Right? Okay. What happens if you're not in lane at the same time as them? What do we come up with? And they either can get stronger than you, or they can just erase the advantage you had gained. Right, you lost money. That's the idea. They push, and you lose money. So in this example, the wave showed up bot, they're in lane, you're not. Did you lose money? Yeah. Yeah, you lost money, right? So we need to be there at the same time as him or before him or whatever. Or we got to be there in time to catch the wave. But you can't afford to lose a wave unless you say what you're doing right now is better. So right here, when we're pushing me with Swain and we're going for a tower plate, is this better than losing a wave bot? Or is this, sorry, is this better than getting a wave bot? No, because at max no we're getting 80 gold for this yeah, plate. <laughs> yeah, there's no way, right? And you shared XP, right? So, uh, yeah, there's no way. Not, and, only, not only did I screw myself, I also screwed Swain. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And if you die here, you screwed your jungle, right? You see how it's like a chain reaction. And then when Karma gets dove, you screwed her too, right? So I, yeah, just made, there's a, there's I, I made every problem. single wrong decision one person can make in the, in the span of 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, basically, we need to, we need to stay. Okay, so it's very much just understanding the idea that how your 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 strength comes from making money, right, and getting XP, so you can buy items. Yeah. So how do we do that? We need to catch as many waves as possible, right? And uh, basically, all of the decision making that we're seeing here is we weren't really accounting for the waves we could be getting. That's just what you need to do is prioritize these waves to make sure you're making money. Oh no, why'd you ulti? Well, I guess there is a fight. Kind of, not really. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's fine to come help, I think, right? So how do we how do we help this? What do you think? How do we uh how do we help this fight? Or what should we have done in this fight? I feel like uh this fight um well I already used condemn so I failed at that. Wait a second. Did my screen freeze? Do you have it? Do you have it paused right now? Okay. Yeah, I have it paused right now. Yeah. Uh, I feel like in this part, I already have teammate help. Lee Sin's low. I can't. I, 
Did I clear out the minions? Is that the is that the right? How do, how do we how do we team fight his face? Like what happened here? Like what what was the problem here? Uh, I I, I tumble ulted too early. I guess you could say. Right. What did it What did it do? Did nothing. I got no right. value for my abilities. Right. And if you, even if you hit Lee Sin with ulti tumble, what is he gonna do? Going to uh, Q away or like or Q to me and probably just kill me. I guess. Cause, ah, you know. I don't think he's gonna kill you. Maybe actually, if he has if he has everything up, he could. But what is his like? Thing. Let's just say you want to kill him. He doesn't want to die. What does he do? Just uh, ward hops away. Oh, yeah, he's just, he's just gonna walk away even, right? And you can't really stop that. So what should we what should we be doing here? If you want to help this fight? How do we fight on Vayne? Mechanically uh, speaking, we 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 go for the outplays and we tumble away and we just slap people with auto attacks. Well, uh, when do we use our abilities? I guess. At the perfect moment. Yeah, we gotta wait. Yeah, just hold on to it. Right? If you can gap close by walking at them and right clicking Cled, you, you do that, right? Because uh, you know we need to save our tumble. I think we're we're seeing a, if there's a mechanical idea we're seeing, we're just like tumbling in, but uh, you know it doesn't really it doesn't really make sense. You're not accomplishing the thing that you want, right? Yeah. You want to fight. You want to kill these guys. You tumble, nothing happens. So that's the problem, right? It didn't let you do the thing that you wanted. How do you actually fight? You hit that. You right click them. They go on you, and then you tumble. And then yeah. you got the you got them to commit, right? And then we're good to go. So I think we're seeing a uh, a team fighting, uh, well, not really a team fighting, idea, a mechanical idea too. Is we're kind of like uh, tumbling like pretty pretty early in these fights, like this right here, right clicking the shit out of him, perfect, right? Because there's no way you can tumble forward to get away with it, right? We just yeah. save it to tumble backwards, right? Let's let's keep going though. This is some kind of a round going on here. Okay, sure, very nice. Look at that. Did you need a tumble to kill his ass? Uh, no, no, yeah, and I guess one thing yeah. I was gonna say, like, I I think I struggle with the like the mental fortitude for consistency with it, cause like, yeah. cause I know in our last time we talked about you know even on Lucian just using the abilities at the wrong time, but like, not as much as I can to focus on do I need to use this tumble right now? And I yeah, still it's fail. Like, obviously discipline, sometimes. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, like legit, never use it until it's Omega outplay. We can talk about this though. What happened? What happened here? I tried to chase. Yeah, that's uh, people. I wanted kinda... the last bolt proc. I mean, it was right there. I just wanted the third hit, and then it was okay, over. Okay, let's say you kill him. What happens? I, I'm still dead. You just, still you dead. just die, right? <laughs> yes. And then, can you guarantee a kill on him? I, I guess I can't because I don't even have flash to to make the the I, jump. I, I don't know how you guarantee a kill here either, right? So it's very. I think we're looking at a lot of consistency ideas in terms of fighting, right? The thing yeah. you want, the, the thing you want, isn't necessarily the thing you can get. You have to kind of, you know. Weave your way to that position, and then you can kill them, right? For example, maybe you're just like right-click him, and then you get one auto attack, and then you leave. He chases you. You you auto attack, tumble, and proc the, the press the attack and the W, right? You need to kind of debate them or get them to chase or something. You can't like force them to fight you. You know what I mean? You can't force them to die if that makes any sense until you're at a position of unbeat. You're unbeatable essentially, a position of strength, right? Where they literally can't do anything about it. Then you can just run, tumble and do whatever you want, but for the most part, it's going to be walking up auto attack, you know, seeing if we can fish for kills. You can't really commit for it until it's like free. Right? I think you just like really wanted to kill that guy there. Uh, and the problem was that you just you just you just couldn't. Right? Don't 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 get too impatient. I think I think a lot a lot of what we're seeing is you're really trying to like get antsy here, to, like try and make something happen, like this for example, right? But this is pretty good. I think blade the ranking here is pretty good. So use your tumble in to blade the ranking him. Very nice. And your team is gonna finish him. Good, good, good. Very nice, very nice. Oh, okay, let's watch this. I'm gonna flash after him. Wow, you crazy dog. Uh okay, sure. Nice. And then push, we try and take tower. Okay, nice condemn. Pog. Uh just hold on to tumble. Perfect. Look at that. Wow. It's not like you can't do it. Sometimes you just you just did it and it didn't make sense, right? You there? Is he here? Am I crazy? Can I hear anything? Did he get kidnapped? Hear me now? Oh yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Damn it! Oh, what happened? 
Uh, my uh, mic decided, my wireless mic decided to power down uh, for some oh, odd reason. I see, feels I see. feels incredibly bad. Uh, but yeah, so uh, it, it's it's all about. So I went into uh, practice tool, going back to one of our last sessions, and you're just like, go to practice tool, practice mechanics. Yeah, That's where you yeah, practice yeah. Mechanics. So I spent a good two hours, I would say, doing like alt tumble. Flash, Blade of the Rune King, Condemn combos, and you know, nice, it's, it's nice. crazy as that can make things happen. So, like, my Condemns have definitely gotten a lot better because before oh, yeah, it was a good. I would never oh, ever use. Looks good, dude. Every yeah, Condemn so. this game has been extremely good, I think. So, it really is kind of positioning and tumbling. Well, really, just tumbling. I think your positioning is fine. Uh, yeah, Q usage. I think every time you use Q, you hold on to it. Everything looks really clean, right? We kill the guy, we have our own play tool ready. You don't have to do anything mm -hmm. crazy. And then uh, every time you kind of like tumble in, it looks kind of like a disaster, right? It's like, oh, we couldn't yeah. get anything done. You know, <laughs> we wasted ulti or they killed us. You know, something uh, along those is, lines, right? Oh. Yeah, this is the worst thing. I got you baited hard. Because like, oh, I tried to tumble bad, and he went right out of vision and then and then I just overstayed and I was dead. Yeah, yeah bad so idea. Uh, I mean, we can talk about this. What do you think about this? Um, This is just me, like going back to getting antsy. I was like, I can definitely kill him. And then I misplayed the one cute the one tumble to get the range for the auto attack like right here I, for some reason he just went out of vision right there and well, I, I mean uh, i missed yeah. it that's true but uh, he's not out of vision you just you're just not in range right yeah i guess it's a lack of understanding my auto attack range like it's like and then uh, he's just bitch baiting me the whole time it's so close right but yeah uh yeah, yeah for sure what what else went wrong here what do you think um uh, I don't really know. I mean, other than staying there, like I feel like I should have just walked back into lane because being in the jungle is just the worst idea. Okay, so how did all this happen? Is this not a problem? All this here? Let's say you kill that Vagar. Yeah, it's your whole team's still dying, right? Yeah, it's definitely a, it's definitely a hard throw for sure. Like, I, I, like in in the long run, looking back, I should have just realized he was trying to bait me and then just left. Well, how do we know we should leave, even like if he's trying to bait us or whatever? Is sieging? Oh, it's a yeah. It's the um, it's an outnumbered team fight. So it's a it's a it's at best a two v five. Ah, we have like three people here, right? Four if you count Pantheon okay. Alti. Hold on, man. That's not. Like, what See, are you guys you... trying to do here? Is the question. Trying to siege, I suppose, is is, is the right way. I guess maybe just fishing for kills. Right. So yeah, what what's the problem with this? Does this work? No, this is losing yeah, because not, not really, right? Yeah. Yeah, we don't have a really big way. They just wave cleared. And now, what are we gonna do? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it's like, what are we trying to do here? Oh, I don't know, right? There wasn't really anything to do here. That's why you guys get caught because the only thing to do here is just die, essentially, unless you guys yeah. are hiding in a bush or something. So, what should we do instead? So let's do like, what what can we do instead after we push? Let's say we say we push and we say we can't siege. Usually, you can't siege. What do we do? Mm -hmm. Well, just looking at the minimap now, uh, we could probably like take their blue or go to top and push that wave in. Yeah, you can take blue. You can go top. Those are pretty good. Other options, we can like go bot. That's fine. We can go home. You have like twenty eight hundred gold. You can go word baron, right? Any of these are good, right? But really, it's just don't try and siege a tower unless you know for sure it's good, because most of the time it's just gonna be super throw, right? Because uh, you guys are winning and now you guys are not winning anymore. <laughs> All of a sudden. <laughs> You won a team fight and somehow turned that into we lost a team fight, right? It's like, wait a minute. Oh shit, you guys are losing Baron next. Oh god. Yeah. No, you guys are actually losing now. Oh no. Yeah. yeah That's so... what I feel like. It's always my fault whenever we lose. Um not like not like trying to like bash on myself, but I know like there's always one even if it's just one simple if I play perfect, even if it's like one simple mistake, the life is a, the life of an AD carry, like if I don't play perfect, then then I lose kind of deal. And that's just like right, right. the main concept. And I know that whenever I make one mistake, I can always point. Like I'll go look back at the game and be like, that's where I lost the game, you know. There's always like there's always like two things usually um, for like ADC and responding to situations, right? It's like your team's doing something hella dumb and how we respond is going to determine if we can come out on top. And then the other one is we, we, we're the ones who start something dumb, right? Yeah. So I For think sure. uh, in this case we're 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 probably in the latter latter camp here. Right? Yeah. It's good that you're starting stuff because you're the one who's like setting the pace of the game, right? That's always good. Now you have to kind of learn from what we're seeing here and see how can we make sure it doesn't happen next time. Like what's the pattern? What's the pattern for this? So we're like, oh okay, 
you know, trying to go in for the kill, trying to chase for a kill, I guess, without, you know, uh, making sure that it's free, right? Or, yeah. uh, like, trying to siege tower when it doesn't really make sense, right? Are oh, you going to kill this guy? I'm pretty sure. Oh, nice condemn. These condemns are sick. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, we push mid here, right? Very okay, good. Yeah, and, and, and that's always, like, been my, <clears throat> like I said, biggest thing being consistency uh, with just the different things that, that I'm rolling that I'm rolling into. I, I think on. you're pretty <laughs> consistent, right? It's just we need to start uh, building habits to make sure that we're being consistent in, like, uh what's it called in like a good way too like the whole you say you said like you always lose the first three waves so now we know how to fix that now you always win the first three waves right so we're like kind of uh inserting like another habit on top of what you're already consistently doing you know what i mean so consistently you know we're, we're i think we're 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 like in a good spot we just need to add a few habits here and there to make sure things don't go really poorly somehow i think what you're saying yeah, because I'm just really trying to make sure that you know that 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 I have the right concepts. Oh, and I I was gonna say something earlier. Um, when, so sieging is just like a, a a really negative a really negative thing to do. You know, for the enemy team or for your team. Uh, one thing that I've kind of realized in my last recent, I guess you could say, like seven or so games, is mm -hmm. like if you're incredibly strong, even if your team is inting, the enemy team trying to siege will still give you at least a. Uh, an opportunity to come yeah. back into the game yeah 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 even if you guys are like zero and 20 you can win if they siege inhibitor sure sure yeah. and then you just like run it down mid and then you win the game like, or, like the you, we're doing you, right here. you get a bunch of shutdowns right yeah 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 so it's pretty uh, it's pretty funny one of the fastest ways to throw in solo queue team wide team team decision making right for similar sure, with like sure. starting baron randomly is one of the fastest ways to uh, throw in solo queue oh this is a feels bad yeah, I, I I definitely misplayed for sure. I didn't yeah, condemn you, what, one that shit. What do, you, what do you think about this? Uh, yeah, I was trying to flank. I was the, the the classic vein flank, you know. And then I missed my condemn, and then they just like, oh, there's a free vein here. Yeah, he's dead, for so, sure. Uh, I guess. How would you change anything here? You think it's just like a hiccup, or? Uh, I, well, I think it's a bad uh, positioning overall. So like, if we're looking at it when I'm trying to flank, I'm I'm flanking into three people or one, two, three. Mm -hmm. And I'm in front of my team and away uh -huh. from my shielding support. So it's just bad positioning overall. So it's not even like, I don't even know if like you or double if could like outplay that. Like, I think it's just a bad idea. Yeah, it's not a good idea. Like, let's say yeah. this is challenger, you know, you know, this never works. He's going to jump, yeah. flash kick, Q, and you die, right? So you sure. yeah, always go that, from the front, right? Or yeah. uh, I was when say, in like, doubt, I've been on training doubt. wheels in like silver and low gold i've been on training wheels like no one knows how to play these games no one has a, no one knows how to flash q lee sin everyone knows how to do that and go like everyone knows how to play their <laughs> channel like to some mechanic level so yeah, I'm, like, yeah. I'm losing every like every time something can happen is actually is happening now right right right, right. you're getting but, we're getting punished for some for some positioning errors too right exactly so, yeah basically take it slow you need to be patient i think overall uh if there's a theme we're looking at here is being patient right we're, like yeah. too antsy to help this fight so immediately go on this guy or like we want to kill this guy so we immediately go in or in the mid fight we immediately ulti tumble on the lee Sin even though we're not even in range to auto attack right we just need to chill out and take things really slow and kill people from the front right we just vein is you know he kills people by hitting them like a million times right sure. we just hit a tank we're really okay. happy so we're, we're winning if we hit a tank you know so i think yeah. you just need to take take these fights really slow and just uh uh approach from the front really like this right here Here's at this cled. What can he do? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> right? nothing. And it's like he's fed. You know, it's like yeah. It's all about the the positioning and and you know and that's the main reason why I wanted to do another session because like you know obviously like I'm starting to get a better understanding of you know mechanics and 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 practicing those things and also like some mid game ideas. But there's just things. Even though I'm winning games, there's things that I know that I could do better at, and then I just have the wrong idea. Right, right. Like here, like this is this is this is pretty good, right? The way you're approaching and where you're coming from. Look, even if there is some mechanical hiccups here and there, we are we have the right idea. We're kiting, we're hitting the front line, and we actually just pretty much single handedly won this team fight for our team. Yeah, for sure. Right? And 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 if if we could talk about so you mentioned mechanical things. If we could go back to that fight, yeah, what's sure. uh even though like I have the right idea, make, um kiting away and using a tumble for outplay, what are what are the I guess if you could touch on just some highlight mechanical misplays that I do to not come out even harder they're like they're like a few things here don't worry about these they're just good to know right so like okay. for zanya's champions in an attack move so that you immediately hit them when they come out of zanya's you okay. notice how here we're like walking around and then he comes out of zanya's and flashes but you're like where's your mouse you're never gonna hit him 
Okay. Right? You're like, I, I don't know what's going on here. But that's like not important, right? And then, uh, you know, tumbling in for a kill is fine. And then, uh, you know, walking around here, uh, there's, there's like an idea we missed here, which is, you know, where's, uh, where, where's their threats, right? So like I'm when we're playing, right, exactly. When we're playing Vayne, it's like, you don't have to focus on hitting this guy, I hope. We're just looking to condemn people or where are the people that can kill us, right? Or if they make, the instant they make a move, we can flash, right? You kind of want to prepare for what they're going to do, right? So in this example, we'd be like, oh, are you ready for Lee Sin kicking you? No, I right. wasn't. I just right, reacted exactly. afterwards. Like, like Exa if he had yeah, killed yeah. Me, yeah, like if he had ult there, or if he had the damage and, and burst him out, I definitely would have lost that. But Right, exactly, exactly. So it's like in this fight, we look at him. You can hit Sion and look at him. And the instant he's coming towards you, you tumble. And he can't see you. And then you just auto attack. And then you heal the instant he kicks or something like that. We're good to go. Right? So that's kind of a, a, a mechanical idea we can see. We can start working on, I think, at this level is, do you know what your opponent is going to do next? The most obvious move, what are they going to do? Right? And even here, I think we should have died to Lucian. Right? If, I don't know if you were paying attention to Lucian, but what is Lucian doing uh, here? Yeah, he's just free hitting me. Like, it, it, he'll do his Q, and then that takes, like, bam, there I go. Like, yeah, yeah. That hurt. That, that, that hurt. Although Eve did, uh, Eve did assassinate him, so that's pretty, uh, that's pretty nice for us. But uh, yeah, I think uh, if you can predict what they're gonna do, that that's a good next step for mechanical ideas. But yeah. uh, I think you're, I think mechanically speaking, you're pretty gifted, right? I think we talked about that, that last time too. Oh, uh, thanks. The mechanics are not really, definitely not the problem. I think you're doing really well. Vayne is definitely the champion for you. I think keep playing this champion. Oh, like, this is definitely your champion here. Yeah. Okay, let's watch this fight. Yeah. There it goes. This, this fight's pretty good. Like I said, just coming from Halo, I, I was 50 in, in MLG, and I, like I said, I played professionally and whatnot. So, like the ability to have the mechanics are there. It's just I've always had I think, the wrong ideas coming from an FPS over to this game. Very nice, very nice. We just kill his ass. Good, good, good. Very nice and simple. Fast forward. I can't remember if we if we win or lose this game, but I just know that oh, I think we do win. Because seems like they're running it down, so. It's good to me. Sure, sure, sure. Oh! Yeah, there it was. In, feels bad, man. It's okay. You're, I, I think I, uh, if you think there's no threat, it can be okay sometimes, right? Yeah, and I thought right there, if I could have got the last proc, that would have killed. Um, but it's all good. Oh, boy. We're done, though. No, hold on. Here, here oh, it goes. It's, it's fine. My. It's fine, dude. The it's karma fine. shields. That's crazy. Oh, wow. He hit you with that. That's what feels bad. That's okay. You guys win this. Easy clap win, right? How do we get stuck in this position, though? Let's see. Oh no! Dodge the Scion ult, and then we can talk about away. we can talk about more vein mechanics. When do we use our okay. tumble if they're running into us? Uh, right when they're about to hit us. Uh, like here. Isn't this how yeah. you get caught? All right. Um, I guess I don't. Uh, so if like think about it, if I'd have had tumble right there, I probably would have just instinctively tumbled into Scion. Let's say. Let's like, say. Okay, let's say this is, this is a Kled coming in. Okay. okay. He's going to ulti you. Let's say you're standing here. Or whatever. We'll just use this as an example. He's ulting you. Okay. And if you tumble, he hits you and he throws a bear claw on you. Right? Okay. So if you tumble, it didn't do anything. Versus if he hits into you and he throws a bear claw on you and, then you, and then you tumble, what's the difference? Oh, you create more distance so you have a better chance of getting away. Right. So the, the concept is after they catch up, create distance. Instead oh, of create distance before they catch up, because they're catching up no matter what you do, right? Yeah. So that's a that's so an idea. It's still saving tumble though. <laughs> it's funny because the idea is always like... saving tumble. Yeah, for sure. So it's like a good flow chart is like came with auto attacks, but then when they catch you or if they catch you is when you use your tumble for the outplay. Exactly, exactly. And unless you can tumble and get away, usually that doesn't happen, right? You need to wait until they catch up and then you tumble. Right. Yeah, that's how you're gonna. Because if you use that, do. then they're just gonna slow roll you right at that point. So, so yeah, just, you're just, you know, they're gonna stand on top of you and you can't get away. Because it feels right. bad. Wait, so is this the one we wanted to see the Twitch? Um, actually, you know what? Let's not do that. Let, let's just forget about Twitch because that just um, it was more for like uh how to play Twitch. So let's just forget about this one. Really? And then I'm sending a, a link now for the for the other vein. Since you, since right. you mentioned we'll stay on vein, we'll just stay on vein for this. Yeah, I think vein is good. I think vein is good for you. I mean, look at your win rate, right? You're doing really well. So. Going fast forward, fast forward. I want to see some. Well, if we look at, we can take a look at laning ideas, but it's gonna be the exact same thing, right? I'm pretty sure. You didn't push. Let's watch. You're not pushing. Ah! Yeah. 
<laughs> right, so it's gonna be the same thing, right? So now you know how do we push? Auto attack on cooldown. Okay. Okay. I mean, and, you can. So let me ask this then: like, if we're if we're not leashing and the wave meets, do we just start auto? Uh, so what you can do is you you push until you think it's unrecoverable for them, and then you start zoning them. Okay. Right. You know what I mean? So let's say you kill all the range minions, and then you you chill here. And then the next wave comes in, they can't fight you because you know you're getting level 2 first, right? So then you just control, you don't want to push into tower. You want to get level 2 when the wave's in the middle, so you can run them down, right? So, oh, there's another, there's another concept we would talk about here. What's, uh, what's our mashup looking like? Uh, it, is, it is a poke and catch matchup. Yeah? Because um, I, I, I don't think they can out, I don't think they can out trade us because we got Nami. Um, right? And yeah, Vayne and Nami want to do what? You guys can do three things. We can do, we can do catch, we can do uh, yeah. trade, and we yeah. can do poke. Uh, you can poke? What are you poking oh, with? All in, all in. Oh yeah, you're going to all in. You're Vayne, right? You're going to all in, right? Yeah. You can do all of these things, okay? So what's, what's wrong with this picture? I'm not in a setup. I'm like away from the wave. Like, Is this the freest trade of your life? <laughs> you want to trade, and he's standing in front of his mini waves, dude. Like if you want to, if you have the trade, if you have the trade, Match up. You can trade when they're standing behind their minions. This man's trolling even harder. He's standing in front of them, right? So the two ideas we're looking for is the ranged minions, are they standing behind or in front? And do I want to trade? Okay, those are the two questions for your, your trading idea, right? And then otherwise, you're trying to try fight, fight for level two. So here he's like giving you, he's like literally letting you win the lane. All you have to do is hit him, right? And we're good to go. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know. We're like afraid here for some reason. So, so one thing that my hope is, Figuring out how you want to trade and also pushing for level two when you have no idea, right? So here we're like, we need to be hitting minions, right? And then uh, if you don't hit minions, they hit level two first. And now we have a problem. Oh, yeah. it feels bad. Oh, look at all that damage we're taking. Yeah, so you see oh. how like it's the same story every time, right? So if you, if, you are, if you find yourself like you lost level two no matter what, like you couldn't stop it, that's fine. Just give it up and you just back off, right? So like in this case... Uh, they're hitting level two because they're hitting, they're killing these range minions. We need to back out like to here or further. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, so like, so like, once you know they just have more minions and you still need more to, like, once you know that for sure, for sure, one hundred percent, you can't get level two. You just need to pretty much just back off and play. Yeah, it, yeah, it yeah. Possible. Exactly, exactly. Like he's getting level two, kills this minion, kills this minion. That's level two. You need to kill all four of these minions. There's no way. So you need to back off, right? Unless you think there is a way, then you can fight for it. But. Uh, usually it's one side. It usually is very one sided, right? Based on uh, what happened in the first wave. So definitely an idea you want to be looking at is fight for level two, and make sure you know when you want to be trading. Oh no, you could have fought them there. How do we know? It was two v three. Right, it's two. It's two. It's three v two. Right, we just run them down. Yeah. Plus, what does our matchup say? Uh, all in. Right, and they don't have any all in at all. So no, it's, it's, as long as yeah. you don't face tank a charm, which we already saw, we we were good to go. Right. So you can just yeah. run them down there. Um, yeah, those are, it's just matchup ideas. Not going to be the greatest, not, not like the biggest problem, I don't really think. Unless you think it's like a big problem you want to work on, I don't think it's necessarily something to focus on. But definitely something that will help a lot for laning as Vayne, right? Yeah. It's just a, a concepts. And, and I almost didn't want to review this game because it was this was, I think, a still gold three or gold four game even. Um, and I just really like kind of really understood the concept of, of that video that we talked about, but, um, I'm glad we did because it's, it's, it's really, like I said, all in the laning phase for me. Uh, yeah, just, just figuring out yeah. What, the, what the thing is. Yeah. Like here, like there, there, there is a lot, a lot of different mistakes they're doing. Right. And most of mm -hmm. it is letting you trade. So how are they letting you trade here? Um, and, and, and this, yeah, yeah, how, yeah. How are they, how are they letting me trade? Yeah. Yeah. How do you trade here? How do you punish? Uh, on his last hits. Okay, on this last hit. And they need a charm. We know that since they're catch, they need a charm to win, right? So where yeah, do you so stand? I can, so I can stand behind my minions because <laughs> they can never get me. You stand right here and he's, he's like, what do I do? He hits you back, you hit him, you win, right? He hits you a few more times, you hit him a few more times, all of a sudden we're all in it and we're flashing the charm, right? Yeah. So this is, is honestly easy punish. Let's say Ari, wa Ari, wa Ari walked up too, right? What do, how do yeah. we win this? We just hit her. <laughs> hit her and dodge a charm, right? No problem. So yeah, there's yeah. a lot of things we can punish here. It's just, you know, how well do you know your matchup? 
you know, how well do you know the extent to your matchup? Even if your yeah. Nami has like the worst wave possible, she's gonna, as long as she waves you later, you're still winning, right? She can be like brain dead. As long as she can read her abilities, we're still winning here, right? She doesn't need you to do anything special. Uh, if she like gives you E and waves for a triple wave, wow, even better, right? But we were winning without that. So that's kind of what you're looking for is free, how can we get free wins out of our matchup, right? And how do we avoid their free wins? Like their binding or their charm or, or whatever. So. Yeah, or die to the jungler. Yeah, yeah, or die to the jungler. That's the other big uh, one. I hate Hecarim like so much, and he's being played so much right now. He just yeah. like auto walks in a wave, predator, ghost, and you're like, oh, speaking I'm dead. of Speaking of dying yeah. to a roam, <laughs> their bot yeah. lane just died. Ail him out. Okay, good, good, good. Push this out. Oh, nice base. This is really good, right? Because last time you stayed, and they would come back in lane, and you didn't have time to base, right? This time we base immediately, and you come back to lane at the same time they do. Check it out. Boom. Ezreal's in lane, and you're in lane, and he can't do anything about it, right? That was good. So yeah, that's the, that's the timing you want. You want to get back to lane when they do. That way you don't lose any pressure, or lose any tempo, so to speak. For example, yeah. this actually happens quite often. Level 5, level 6, first item base. If you base too late, he's going to push this in, and they start dragging. You guys can't see it. And they, they're, they're, they do it fast enough that you can't clear the wave and then go. Yeah, by the time you clear the wave, they've already got it, right? So that's, yeah. uh, that's why timing can be really important sometimes. A lot. It's like, I, I thought I was winning lane. How did they get dragon, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. It's like, holy shit, I was winning lane. They sh that shouldn't happen, right? Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of how you uh, fix that. Is you're, you're giving them tempo, right? That's the idea. Wow, they yeah. were trolling. How do we know yeah. this is trolling? <laughs> they just used everything they could possibly have. Right, they used their catch potential. But they're not oh, catching no. you, right? Yeah, yeah, so you're just gonna heal it up, and then now they have no ulti, right? Now Ezreal has no ulti, so... Very interesting, now they're just dead too, because there's a gank. But yeah, that was really stupid 2v2 by them. They're actually just running it down. A lot of the lane phase is really looking for punishing easy mistakes. The most basic concept of matchup is what you're looking for, okay? Like the trading right. versus catch. For Look at supports first, and then compare ADCs after. So, um, that's kind of what you're looking for, right? Is how can we punish the most basic matchup so uh let's just use any of these for example what about this what's this matchup like uh that one is so zaya is like catch uh, uh supports first in. supports first let's um, do supports first because supports are stronger so nami that's uh and uh trade yeah she's gonna try and catch and trade and what about soraka Soraka is more like poke, and I don't really call. It, I don't really think it counts sustain, but yeah, I guess all yeah, you she really could, have I guess is she could trade, right? Just heal. Bit of trade, and then she can. Okay, so healing is like helps with trade. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because yeah, you're gonna heal up afterwards, right? Yeah, so how do you how do you win trade versus trade? Of course, uh, don't get hit by bubble, you... but. Just trade. Yeah, that, I don't. I've never actually thought about that. How? So trade ah, versus trade. This is uh, actually one that requires a little bit of thinking here. Yeah. But like if you guys if ADCs just hit each other, nothing happens. Well, of course something happens, but we'll say a put is even, relatively speaking, right? So then, so then you win by dodging all the supports trade. Well, you can't because of the wave. Yeah, so you can't just like stand back and do whatever. Um, to go in and trade first. How do you two v one them? Uh. 2v1. Yeah, if the ADC is standing in front, why is this 2v2? Because we can, because we can run into them. Cause, uh, cause... Okay, let's say you're trading. Let's use this example. Uh, this example, this example. Okay. You're playing Vayne. You stand in mm -hmm. front like here. How come, and Nami's standing here. How come it's, she's still helping you? She's still helping me because she can use her like ebb and flow. Um, to not only heal me but then damage the enemy AD. yeah yeah and she can like put e on you and whatever okay sweep it so uh, switch it now i'm standing in front you're standing here why is it 1v2 uh because like so i'm standing in the empty circle and then it's not no 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 uh, uh, right there sorry nami's here and uh -huh. now you're where nami is you're the one in back now okay what's the so problem with this winning here so this is where i'm winning right Wait, this is where you're losing, right? Okay, let me, let me, sorry, let me draw this better. Yellow is, yellow is, uh, okay, let's use blue for you. Okay. And yellow for Nami, okay? 
This is a two v one. So there, so the enemy AD isn't even here. Uh, I don't no, know. They're, they're both here. They're both here. Okay, I see what you're saying. Because Nami's trade is better, right? So like that's why I'm losing. Uh, because because there, there's his damage plus healing, ebb and flow. Like let's just let's just say this is also Nami and Vayne right here. Okay. What's the problem? And with then this? I'm before blue. Nami could help you from the back, right? Now she's like just by herself. She's right? by herself, right? Why can't you help her? I can't help her because uh, I'm not up there with her and I'm yeah. so behind my minion line. <laughs> yeah, look how far away you are, right? She can help super far, but you can't, right? So now they just beat up Nami, okay? So let's go back to our uh, trade versus trade example. Okay. Right? So how do we punish trade? How do we win? So we win we by... So basically, just two of you wanting them. So yeah. Uh, well, who specifically? Weight, uh, the support. Yes, the support. So the support walks up by herself. Easy punish. Sure. If Zaya walks up by herself, it's not easy punish, right? Because the support can follow. Because support can help. Yeah, so exactly. The, right. So whenever the support just by himself is so like, so like I think I think of Bran specifically when we're talking about this because Bran or Zyra, right? They just they 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 hurt all the but time. But they don't trade. They put. They're poking. Yeah. They're not but, intending to take damage. Oh yeah, because because Bran, his skill shots are so far away, it doesn't really matter. I guess. Yeah, Bran. exactly. Yeah, he's gonna throw it and run. Nami and Soraka. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna throw stuff and fight, right? When we trade, okay. we hit them, they hit back, right? Okay, so it's just like whenever they just walk up by themselves, just you know, in front of their wave, that's when that's when you two v one the enemy support. Yeah. Because they yeah, exactly. You do this three times in a row. Oh, we won, boys, right? Yeah, so that's how I you win trade versus trade, right? Easy. That was tough. <laughs> okay, how about this one? Uh, pixels get out of the way. Oh no, is it pixelated? Uh, but um, is it? What am I looking at? It's a Lucian Nami no cause, against. Oh, no cause and Nami. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, Velkaz and Nami. So Velkaz, uh, like he definitely poking for sure. Like he's mm -hmm. and he's a little bit of catch. Uh, Nami is, you know, the same thing. You know. Trade, uh, trade catch, mm -hmm. for sure. So, so this one is the same kind is the same kind of concept here. You know, just when it, whenever the Velkos isn't really trying to trade, he's just gonna poke out. So even when yeah. he steps up, it's not like you can really like help him. He's just doing right? his thing. So the only time you can really do something is if Nami walks up and then Velkos lands his stuff. Then you can kind of. Yeah, we're basically playing off Velkaz E, right? Yeah, or maybe yeah. Velkaz slow into your W, something like that, right? We're going to try and catch them, right? And then when all else fails, we just push so they can't trade, <laughs> right? We just push them on their towers so they can't trade. So we're happy. But yeah, that's kind of, you know, your, your, basic nut your basic matchup in a nutshell. How can we help Velkaz land E? How can we avoid her trades, right? That's kind of, uh, you just, honestly, you, just, you can stop there for now, right? The most, yeah. most important ability the supports have how can we utilize that in our matchup, right? Uh, so yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what we're seeing for laning phase. If you want to punish harder in lane, like you're already winning lane apparently, right? But if you want to punish even harder, this is what you, this, is, this is what you can do. So just think about the supports' biggest ability. So obvious things: Blitzcrank hook. How do oh, we help yeah, that? Help that yeah, if he doesn't have hook, you cannot do anything. Period. Right? Unless their support is equally useless. Yeah, and and obvious, and so so I've been thinking about it wrong the whole time. I've been like, how can I two v one the lane or one v two the lane? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's not possible, right? So, uh, so if it was possible, are so much important. Yeah, of course, right? The supports are insane. I mean, you have a Nami that literally dictates how you play the lane, right? He has an Ari uh, that literally dictates how he's supposed to play the lane, right? Like the way you play with Nami is completely different from Leona. Are we going in now instead of we're trying to trade? Right, yeah, you see how yeah, that works? Yeah. Like, Leona's like, I'm going in. So you're like, I guess I'm going in with you. Yeah, I got to go too. Otherwise, you know, we ain't doing anything here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we start with the support. We start with the stronger part of the lane, which is supports, yeah. right? So, so like, I guess if you think about it, if your support's just uh, autofill or like just not doing what they're supposed to do. So like if you got Blitzcrank and he's just not hooking anybody, then you're just like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to uh, free slow push. Yes, exactly. We can't do anything about it. So that's fine. Right. Uh, just, then we just don't interact with them. <laughs> we really prefer to not interact with them in that in those cases. All right, let's keep going. I, I want to see. see some like team fights here. Yeah. Situation. I mean, if you want to see the team fight, I think it's what more. Uh, let's see. 
Like, All right, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. I honestly want to see some mid-game ideas. So we talked about, yeah. like, laning in the sense of first three waves. Honestly, if I think you can work that out, I think it, it'll be a lot less painful in the early game, right? And then uh, we also talked about, like, matchup ideas, which you can, you can use. Uh, just kind of figure it out in champ select. I think it's a good time to do it. Um, yeah. Champ select or loading screen is what I do. Or even, like, walking to lane, <laughs> to be honest. Sometimes I do it while I'm walking to lane, too. And then uh, also base timings. We talked about some base timings. Just know that the idea is you don't want to lose minions, right? So you want to get to lane at the same time they do, at the very least. Yeah. And it's really helpful too because it's always, again, playing Halo, it's like I feel like I at any point could always take over the game. But like with ADC specifically, even though you could take over the game later, but like first couple of levels, it's all about higher support plays and you need to style. You always need to be malleable based yeah. on what your support's doing. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. In like the higher elos where everyone's just like everyone's kind of got like good understanding. <laughs> you would you would hope so. <laughs> you would hope like at least they can dump their damage and maybe like like the better chance, a better odds at least of getting someone that knows that. But like, you're in just a bad situation. How do you how do you play that to use to your advantage? Oh, like, it feels you can... bad. Feels bad, dude. Your support just insta died. Sure. Yeah. Nice try. Nice try. You see how it's like, oh, they need to play off the charm, which is what they did. Uh, you mm -hmm. just kill this guy, by the way. Just tum yeah, just condemn him. Good, good, good. You just, you just, you can one v two them, honestly. Oh my god, Where did that almost come couldn't one v two, dude. Yeah. It's support's broken, dude. Look at this. Ah. Uh. Also, Ezreal landed one Q, by the way. Yeah. But he missed his W. He like. Missed the W. Yeah. <laughs> dude, Why support is, is insane, dude. He even has ignite. You die to ignite, by the way. It feels bad. It was incredibly bad. I was like, it's okay. Wait a second. Uh, actually, what? let's take a look at this. We can look at mechanics here too. Okay. What do you think? Uh, so tumble condemn. That's fine. Yeah. I think I tumble up right there, and I think uh, right. Probably could have. I don't know. I'm not really. I'm not okay. really seeing. Here's it. a question. Okay. What do you use your flash for? Uh, to outplay. Okay, what do we all play here? We outplay the RE damage, I guess, because that's what really killed us. Did we though? So we, we, we obviously, like, I think I miss, miss, miss did the flash. I think that's the idea, right? Is to get away from the RE damage. What RE damage? What specifically? The Q and the charm. Purity Q and charm, though, right? So it's the Foxfire. So her, uh, her little, whatever they are. Yeah, but, uh, you know, uh, can we just walk away from that? Slash, that's not really, like, a main damage dealer from Ari, right? Yeah, I, yeah, especially if she's not maxing it, so I guess not. What should we use it for? If we're trying to outplay damage. Um... Right. Like, what's a good habit to have? If you're trying to outplay damage... We need to uh, outplay the biggest damage source, so like Ezreal ulti, a CC, okay. or what else, What if we don't have something big to dodge? When do we and use it? Then we use it to secure the kill. Mm, much. Okay, true, right? So that means we have to just wait and hold on to it, right? Okay, so wait for or, use it at the last possible moment. Yeah, or, wait to use it at the last possible moment. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Right? Unless you have something big to dodge, like hook, or Ezra ulti or whatever. But here, there's nothing big to dodge. You already dodged a charm, right? So I'm just basically wasting flash because there's nothing really that's that. Like, every, all the damage I took there is damage I was going to take regardless of flash. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, watch Ezra here, right? So, uh, you know, he just right clicks you, right? Like, you basically flash nothing. But in fact, we could have flashed two Qs. Anything. Uh, we could have used it for anything, I think, here. And we would be happy here. So. Just uh, flash the last Q is what basically killed me. Like if I had saved it for like the last Q, then it would yeah, have been fine. Yeah. There's actually quite often they'll Q you and they'll start turning around thinking they killed you, right? Back it up, back it up. They do they'll do this. But they, they hit you their last auto attack and then they start leaving, but then you flash and you're out, right? Mm -hmm. It's like last second debate is always what you're looking for. Similar idea with abilities. You're going for the last second debate, right? With your tumble. So yeah. It's okay though. I don't think that's a big deal overall. That's not really why you're gonna lose games, to be honest. Right. Uh, dying to ignite to the support, that's not really doing anything. It's not too is not the worst thing that could have happened. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Like the fighting in general, holding on to flash is really good. 
but uh i think overall your the mechanics are, are still fine right still good mm -hmm. so let's keep going let's keep going i'm more interested in the mid-game ideas and the team fighting where uh time where we can take over the game but uh yeah. see what happens there right like for example you try and kill someone but then you just die <laughs> You like really want to kill someone but you die i think that's a much bigger problem for sure yeah for sure yeah if you want to yeah we can just because here is another example of where i thought i had a lead in lane and because i just misplayed the a couple things where you know then i lost tower and then it was over well i yeah, mean David. we're still fine here no i mean it's fine i just don't like losing uh, tower first because it's kind of like but why though because it's first tower gold man i wish i could have had it I think first tower gold went to someone else. I think mid 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 or top got done done zoned first, right? Yeah, I think it's more of a pride thing if I get the tower first. I guess. Yeah, the tower the tower is not relevant to you. Don't worry. Like that's that's team difference is the tower, honestly. Right? Oh really? Yeah, like whoever's jungle, jungle whoever's jungle mid support is like controlling the the side of the map. <laughs> it's I see. very. It's not usually your your job to get these these towers first, right? Uh, okay, this message is trolling, right? Oh no. Okay, let's I don't know. I've never seen that before in my life. How did that? I've, I've never seen he that happen in my life. He queued the cannon. So, so he queued the. So he didn't queue me. That's why he went to the yeah. other. Yeah, yeah. Also, let's talk about this because this is also part of the mechanics we were talking about. What okay. do you think I'm gonna say here? Uh, should have waited till after the queue had finished the animation and then alt queue condemn. Exactly. Yeah, you need to let them because they're gonna gap close no matter what. Sure. You need a kite with just moving or blade the ranking or whatever and then you tumble after his q finishes right yeah because so, like, think, like think about this like if i had first if i had recognized they didn't cue me like if i i queued a q tumbled and then right as he had finished or q tumbled right after he finished and then just condemned into the tower stub or whatever and then it was right, right 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 exactly you can just stand next to the wall you can honestly do whatever you want there you just right click him all you have to do is not tumble i think a lot of times it's panic tumble Right? yeah exactly that's 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 making that's causing these mistakes so really you want to hold on to it okay until <laughs> it's like legit until you actually need it to, in order to do something most of the time yeah. you're you're really holding on to it so you can find your your opportunity to use it so like for example I, you ulti in tumble and blade the ranking that vagar so you caught him that was really good right so every time we tumble we want something like that I was like master Yi, the q isn't what's going to kill you it's the auto attacks afterwards yeah exactly exactly it fucking hits you like 10 times in a row and you die. Like, or less, I guess, like five times in a row, huh? Wait a second, how did you hit me that many times? Oh, Rage Blade? Oh, okay, feels bad. Seems good, seems good. Oh, what happened here? Okay. Oh, okay, sure. Totally fine. Uh, this is a bad habit, too, right? I healed my. Uh... No, no, healing's fine. You thought he was dying, but of course yeah. you didn't need to heal. This. What was that? As a tumble away, I didn't really need it. Yeah, so if there's a fight happening, you have no tumble. <laughs> right? oh, yeah, you, you need to hit something to reset it. Or yeah. you have to wait out the whole cooldown and the tumble cooldown, right? Look at the entirety this. Have, of it. Dude, you're just walking around trying to hit something. Oh my god, you can't hit anything. So yeah, definitely don't do that, right? Save your tumble. Pretend you don't sure. have it. Right? It's your big outplay ability. So if you use it and nothing happens, then there's a problem, right? Okay. Oh, here we go. This is easy outplay. Just Alt E and just walk at them, right? Oh, let's go, baby. You can take it slow too, right? And just kill his ass. Very nice, very nice. Wow, you don't even have to do anything. Honestly, saving everything is, is totally fine too. For sure, sure. That's uh, winning, because that's you know abilities that I have and health that I have and all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, so in case something does happen, you can outplay, right? Oh, this guy's dead as fuck. Oh, yeah. very nice. Hey, tumble to kill at the last second, right? Yay. Very nice. Very nice. That was clean. Yeah, this is a I think this, the, is the, th this is definitely before I did all of my mechanic practice for sure as well. Uh, so my condemns okay. are not on point like they are in the later game. In the that's fine, one. that's fine. Honestly, the condemns are like, honestly, not even a big deal. I think the tumbles are like what's making or breaking your fighting, I think. Like every time you tumble incorrectly, it's, a, it's like you can't do anything. And every time you tumble correctly or hold on to it, it looks really good. It looks really, really good. Right? It looks 1v9 good because that's how you 1v9, right? I'm Insane correct, tumble then. usage. Yeah, 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 insane tumble. Start keeping like a like a mental tally in my head every time I uh, tumble incorrectly. Yeah, I just need to hold like, on to it, right? Like, if there's exceptions to tumbling in. What is it? You and tumble it's incredibly in, incredibly free. Okay, that's true. But besides that, besides incredibly free kills, because you can actually do it in this game. 
if this uh, gives you any ideas. Yeah, tumble away from the Master Yi. Um, no, 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 tumble in. We're tumbling in, like pretending to be stupid. Oh, because I, cause I can debate them because I have Flash and I have Zony. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so you can use it as like a debate too. But that's like very rare. But it is something sure. you can take note of. But, so, you know, the reason why it's oh, very I see. rare is so because, like, you know. They're thinking about the bait. They're just thinking about going in. Yeah, and then so, you stopwatch and then you flash out, right? No problem. <laughs> but yeah, don't tumble in most of the time. So, so like tumble in, let them use everything on me, Zonia's, and then flash out, let, let my team kill them. It's like, haha, troll. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. But pretty much we, we never, almost never tumbling in, right? You need to hold on to Dang. it. You need to hold on to it. We have some. I have some examples of Vayne if you want to see, but I think yeah. I think you already know what, you, what your Vayne looks like. Okay, sure. We'll take a look after this game. But okay. I think uh, honestly, you could work on mechanics. That's a good time. Uh, other than that, all you have to do is just like not see. Like this game went really well, right? I think if you have no major mistakes in terms of making decision making, things look really good, right? Yeah. And major mistakes, I mean by like uh, you try to kill Vagar like one v four or something, or you try yeah. to siege your tower, but it didn't make sense. So you guys got caught. Because someone TP behind you, right? Those are the those are the big things we're looking for. Uh, I think if you, uh, I think you kind of like know what those are. So maybe reinforcing that idea, you know, maybe create a new habit. Maybe just remember it in your games. Maybe every time you see a tower, make sure you say, "Oh, we can't siege. We definitely can't siege because you're playing Vayne, right?" Uh, I think if you can fix those and the, some team fighting, it's it's really clean. Like you can't lose. And in fact. That's actually what we're seeing here. You like you can't you can't lose. Look at this, seventy percent win rate, right? Yeah, so feels good. It's insane. Uh, we're definitely, we definitely we can still definitely climb with Vayne here. But yeah. if you clean these up, it's a lot. It gets even better. So all right, you want to see the Penta? Let's watch the Penta. Here it oh, yeah, comes. Here we go. Here we go. Like maybe fifteen seconds into the future, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the other thing we talked about was predicting what your opponents are gonna do, right? Oh no! Uh, see his panic tumble, right? Yeah. <laughs> Don't panic tumble. No, you're not tumble. If you just you just try and tumble this, oh god. It's okay. okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's happening. It's just, it'll happen just it. a bit. Now we we just press pull. R. We just flash the charm or something. Honestly, you can tumble charm too. Yeah, yeah. You can't really lose this, to be honest. Okay, let's watch. Let's watch. Fast forward. Here it comes. All right, it's oh. time. Only charm. Only Velkaz Z, right? Oh, no charm. You just win now. Kill him out. Easy clap. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We can go Velkos first if you really want to. Oh, no. I know. I mean, yeah, I flashed too early for sure. Yeah, 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 exactly. Remember, always after the gap close, right? Yeah, so. I've watched this so many times. I've identified every single mistake that I made. Nice, first nice. one being didn't use ult. Oh, yeah, didn't use ulti. To... I was surprised if you use ulti. I... But after this game is when I went into practice, like, I'm going to figure out how to press R. Oh, there's I, another I, one I, here. Yeah, I know I pressed it, I just didn't. Uh, we can talk about this one too. The, the Jace. Okay, what is he gonna do? Oh, he's gonna he's gonna EQ and he's gonna um fly to the skies. Right, he's gonna melee form. Okay, how do you count? How do you counter? Uh, tumble after he goes melee. True. Another there's another counter as well. Uh, condemn into the wall. Uh, you don't even have to condemn him into the wall. You condemn what? Um. Well, because if I condemn him, then he, then, then he, then he, then his melee form is is, is useless. Uh, well, you don't have to do it into the wall, right? I'll just condemn him away. Like it doesn't even. Ha I was just saying, it doesn't have to be a wall stun. You just condemn him away, and then his melee form is useless. Well, you condemn him in midair while he's doing the jump, right? Oh, you can you? do that. You yeah. can do that. Yeah, of course. Right. So, like, uh, while he's jumping here, if you know what he's gonna do, you can you can counter it like that, right? Oh, uh, okay. So, like, I thought he was untargetable when he went in the air. No, 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 no. You can definitely you can you can push him out of it, right? Oh, so but, he don't. So I could just push him out of it. and He won't even get the damage. Then it's a yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Then yeah, it looks so even you can, better. You can even you can even do that, right? But uh, if there's another if there's a mechanical idea, another mechanical idea you want to work on that's not like your own abilities. It's you know what your opponent is gonna do, right? So that's that's probably the other one we're looking at here. Um, yeah, because well, I I I feel like I did. So I knew he was going to EQ, and I made sure to tumble that damage. The the, yeah, the that's really good. Blast. Yeah, that so, would be good. Yeah, so I guess the second part. Jace has two forms. Figure him out, right? Mm, exactly. EQ and then melee form. That's pretty, this is the only combo he has, really. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see that Zonius, though? Maybe. That was pretty sick. Uh, which one? Uh, whoever was on our team, the Evelyn. Right, uh, Master Yi was about to kill her. 
Oh, the Silas. Silas? Yeah, the Silas. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. That's pretty yeah. spot. That's Gonna pretty die. Bam. <laughs> Very nice. Last second Zanyas, right? Always, yeah. Everything is always at the last second. That's how you get the maximum debate, right? Yeah. The maximum yeah. debate. Okay, cool, cool. And Did you see ETL versus uh, Clutch Gaming yesterday? Oh, I saw some of it, but I didn't really watch Watch. I think it was like the second or third game, like... Uh, Jensen was trying to get a kill on Demonte, and Demonte oh made God. it last so long. And their whole team just came and collapsed. So it was like. Rip. Oh. This is a rip. What do you I, think about this? I was like, I was trying to walk up and hit him, so I shouldn't have done that. And then I just got mm, caught by everyone. Tumble. It, it was the wrong have tumble. Done that? What are we missing here? Uh, we're missing Flash, but no, then no, we like, tumble. Uh, sorry, that was a bad question. What's like the problem here? Problem is, um, trying to hit them under the tower. Uh, why is that a problem? Because they can just turn around and catch, and the tower is not going to die, and my team isn't with me. Oh, you you can take the tower at this point. I think you can take the tower. No, you don't think you can take okay. it. I mean, it's not like whenever it's not like one hit, I feel like it. You know, it'd be dead, and I would die. Um, I don't know. Uh. The big mistake is 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 me flash uh tumbling too early and then I tumble right into the uh from Velkos. Right? Okay, so back it up here. If I tell right. you Velkos is gonna E immediately, what do you do? Walk away. Why why not? Why can't we kill him? Oh, I see what you're saying. So I probably just tumble cued because he's uh he's uh Nami bubbled right now. Uh, I mean, if you think you can kill him before the bubble's over, sure. I don't think so, though. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> that usually has poor results, to be honest. True, true, true. That's why I was like, kind of like hesitant to say. So, I don't know. Like, well, he can't do anything in this exact moment. So, I guess in this moment, I could hit tower. Uh, and it'd be fine. We're, we're trying to kill him, right? Okay. So, what is he gonna think. do right after he's done? Right out after out of the bubble. He's gonna use all of his abilities. Which one matters to us? We don't care about any anything else except for this. For the the knockup, his All right, the knockup, right? So, how do we beat this? You just uh, tumble the knockup. Yeah, easy, right? No problem. You can get like creative. You can go walk sideways and tumble up. You can go down, tumble up. You can just fucking I don't know, dude. You can you can run and then tumble this way, right? Do some double debate, but you just need to know it's coming in the first place, right? And then you have a way to beat it, and you just kill them. And then, in fact, once you kill Velkaz, you can kill Jace after you play the Ring King, and yada, 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 right? But that's kind of the idea. Is you're missing what are they going to do, right? And so you end up panic tumbling backwards because you have the reaction time to tumble to something, but you had no idea it was coming in the first place, so you might end up tumbling into it, which is what happens, right? So that's kind of like a, a, a big thing you can look at, mechanically speaking, is um, do you know what your opponent's going to do, right? Because you can outplay the mechanics if you know what's going to happen. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's not that it was physically impossible to win that fight. Mm -hmm. It was that you were missing some information or preparation to win that fight. Right. Because, right? I mean, it's not like you're going to have, like, godlike reactions to every single thing. I mean, yeah, sure you yeah, could. That's a yeah, that's impossible, right? <laughs> like, you have to react in the, in the exact situation correctly within half a second. It's like, yo, that's not possible. You need to, like, was... come up with what you're supposed to do beforehand, right? Do you think that's why bots do so well? It's because they know every single thing that can possibly happen? Or what? Like um like a like a coded bot, like an actual bot bot. Yeah, you like, could program so it like oh he's always sidestep when they throw an ability, like scripts, sure. I guess, right? But it's because yeah, it's, but it's because they know it's just like the script knows everything that could possibly happen, which is why like they they can just because they know. So if, like yeah, if you know everything that can happen, no, then that's, you're fine. Yeah, that's exactly what you're trying to do. You're trying to pre program yourself to make sure you're ready to outplay or you have an answer to this stuff, right? Yeah, you're uh, saying. Yeah. Dude, where's the where's the vein I had here? Oh uh, here we Fine. go. You're playing way too much, Caitlyn, bro. Like, I mean, yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty interesting, you know. <laughs> Got it. But, um, uh, you can put but, but, um, um, okay, let me find this real quick. I think there's some interesting team fights. Definitely one relevant example I remember. Okay. But, yeah, let's take a look. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's take a look here. Definitely ended sometimes, so don't don't watch that. But uh, <laughs> look, fast forward. Okay, there's a fight going on here. Oh, okay, I remember this. Okay, watch this. What are the things you have to watch out for, I guess? Um, so what is that? Is that Sivir and then Pike, right? Yeah. So our mechanical prediction here. 
real. So you're predicting to basically not get uh, hook stunned. Okay, hooked, stun. Anything else? Um, Sivir Q because that hurts. Right. Boomerang. Okay. Anything else? Um. Oh, you're pretty low. Are they six? No. Yeah, yeah they're, they're six. level six. They're level six. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So Pike ulti. Like, yeah, he's gonna ulti, right? Yeah. yeah so, so okay, I'll take a look at this. So how did I beat the hook? What did I do? Back up a little bit. Sorry, was the. It's kind of fast, but pixels are real. It was pre-programmed. It was pre-programmed by me. But, all right. So you you healed. Uh, so you knew it was coming. Yeah. So you so you heal to get the movement speed to be able to dodge it because you knew it was coming. So you just debated it, walking forward, walking forward, <laughs> and then as soon as you're predicting it's going to come out, you heal to get yeah, the movement speed to get out of it. Exactly. Heal ran sideways. That was my answer, right? Yeah. And then if he has no hook, he can't stun me. Good luck, right? Yeah. And yeah. then uh, what is the answer to his ulti? Um, to not be oh to flash. Oh, yeah, see. exactly. See how that works, right? We have as long as you have an answer, you can go for it. No problem. This is the other thing you were missing that would be. I think would be really good is do you know the most obvious thing they're gonna do okay the most it's, obvious thing they're gonna do yeah is, and uh, it's not like i not it's not like i don't know i mean i've seen pike over a thousand times now like he's <laughs> going to he's gonna try and get the hook and then he's gonna as soon as he gets the hook he's gonna stun you and then he's gonna ult like that's the bread and butter combo that's gonna happen yeah every time. yeah yeah okay, it's, like, you... it's like yeah exactly. jump in <laughs> so don't when it's basically when you're fighting don't worry about killing them. I think there's a lot of you're putting a lot of stock into like killing Vagar or whatever, right? I, I use that example because that was the one that stuck out the most to me. But don't like, don't like feel like you need to kill these guys, right? You just need to outplay them and then you kill them for free, essentially. Like in this example, what are we looking for? Uh, this one I was like, oh, we get this flank on Shen. You know, I can kill what Shen. is Shen going to do? Shen is going to taunt and or taunt away or taunt me or. Okay, he's gonna taunt. Uh, and his uh, auto attack blocking shield. Okay, yeah, yeah. the auto attack blocking shit, right? So yeah, yeah. I want you to watch this. Not way. You try to oh, trick um... me, yeah? <laughs> oh, you you see that? When did yeah? When did he use his his shielding thing? Right when you got under tower. Right at the last second, right? To try and uh, debate me. I'm like, nah, bro, I just condemn him out, right? Yeah, so yeah, condemn, it's, bro. it's all good. Don't yeah, exactly. It. Do you know what he's going to do? Okay, that's like the main the main thing you need to outplay these guys consistently, okay? Do you know what they're gonna do and what are you gonna do to come out to ahead of him? Right. Okay, this is just some Alum outplay, I guess. Uh we can watch this. They're just bad, so you know there's not there's nothing to really see here. You're just you're just you're just basically tumble and quit on away from them. <laughs> Alright, fast forward. I wanna see a better yeah, one. Sucks. Let me see a better example here. Anything else? Not really. Forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Is this a team fight? Oh, this guy just dies. And it has to be a team fight here somewhere, no? Okay, here we go. This is, a, this is another one. It's a little empty, but. Huh. Okay. What is uh, Nidalee trying to do here? He's trying to, trying to steal. So she's going to Q from the bush because yeah. it's long range. Agreed, All right? So, oh, I'm just going to try and zone her so we get the Baron, right? That's the idea. Of course, could be much better executed, right? And so I shouldn't have used my tumble, <laughs> right? Yeah, agree. Yeah, right, we definitely yeah. shouldn't have used tumble. I agree, for sure. It, you can flash. It's like narrow, uh, narrow skill shot anyway, so it's really easy to dodge. Well, I wanted to get hit by it, so she doesn't oh, see it, right? We just need to. Oh. We just want to save tumble for outplay. All we have to do is just flash, face tank, and condemn. We're good to go. Oh, Guaranteed. So you tumbled into it. Yeah, you tumbled yeah, yeah, into yeah. it. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have tumbled at all. I was gonna. T I was gonna get hit anyways. And then because I tumbled, why am I getting hit by this hook? Oh, I don't have. I don't have. I don't have anything. You don't have, you don't have flash. Oh, you, don't, you don't have anything. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, save tumble. Okay. More of the story is always save tumble, and then uh, I guess we win. But those are kind of the two the two main examples: the the Pike one and the Shen one, right? Uh, you know, if you can read what they're gonna do, you can come up with a way to outplay and then go for it. Right? Yeah. So like, if so, we go back, uh, let me go back here. This is the this is the replay that was the one that stuck out, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, let's take a look at this. Um, this here actually works. Ion. Here he comes. So, here he comes. what is he gonna do? He's gonna perma. This sun lock is forever. Well, what what abilities? Uh, Scion. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna ultus. Okay. And then he's gonna press Q, right? Yeah, and then he's gonna press Q, and then it's not gonna, and then and then he's gonna slow us after that. So, oh, we can go like this, or we can go like this. Easy, right? So you have to outplay his ulti. 
and then That's it. we tumbled into it. <laughs> we tumbled into it, right? So we literally did the worst possible option. We're like, here you go. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So he's like, oh, do you know what your opponent is going to do, right? You know what's sad is like looking at this how it was. If I had uh, dodged Scion right there specifically, he would have died. And You're kind of killing everyone. Full health. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I could have two v three right there. I could yeah. definitely could have two v three for sure. Yeah, I think you're definitely killing everyone there. So that's why I think Vayne is really good for you. You have a really good uh, instincts for her, right? I think we just need to fine tune some things here, right? And then we'll be we'll be we'll be doing even better. So yeah. this is like a, this is like a good one. What are they gonna do here? What is Vagar gonna do here? Vagar's gonna just uh, Q ult, and that's insta death, right? With Vagar. True, he could do that. Anything else? That's not the one I'm thinking of, though. If I saw this, that's not what I would think. Uh, stun. Yeah, he's gonna cage, right? He did. Oh, how do we how do we beat this? Right? Yeah, he did cage, right? This, that's why I was like, you know, I don't know why we're trying to kill this guy because he's always gonna cage and you can't stop that, right? Yeah. So so, so if you so if you know what they're gonna do and you can't stop it, then don't even try. Yeah, because when try you try, you're the one getting outplayed, right? Say for example that Master Yi, he was running you down, right? And you stand next to a wall, you stand still. Obviously, you're gonna e flash him when he cues, so he can't he can't go for it, right? The yeah. instant he cues, he's done. So so he's got he's got to trick you somehow. He's got to cue a minion to make you flash or some stupid shit, right? So and then uh, next time he just and then he just turns around with ult and ghost and then just runs you down. And you're dead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it becomes a mind game once people start reading each other. But at this level, they have no idea what you're doing. Okay, so try and read sure. the most obvious thing they're gonna do, and it's it's really obvious. It's like oh, you know, Oriana's gonna look for ulti, right? Fire's gonna look for Q. Hecarim's gonna look for ulti. This man, this Volo Bear, is gonna Q and run at you, right? So yeah. all you have to do is read their most powerful slash obvious move. And uh, I think you will have a little I bit better insight tribute. in terms of how to mechanically all play. Feels good. And then, and then it'll just, and then things will be good. Hopefully the next, uh, yeah, that would, because like if we're just thinking about those things, like those small things, and um, I think these games go a lot, either quicker wins or they turn from losses into wins. Yeah, yeah. I'd say the the well, yeah. What do you think the, were the main thing, the main takeaways today? Uh, main takeaways were um, focus on uh, focus on using the abilities at the right time. Because it's kind of like a constant for me is using the um, mm -hmm. and using like really focusing on pushing, getting level three. So like the first three ways, focusing on that, focusing on getting yeah. your, your yeah, level, get level before two. anything else. <laughs> Get level two, man. And level two as quick as possible. And then uh, how are you going to outplay them? Like what like what are you gonna do to outplay them? So figure out what they're gonna do, the obvious things they're gonna do, and then come up with a plan to Right, 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 right. So how do we make a habit for the holding on to abilities one? Uh, I think the best things that I can think of is just like focus on only auto attacking until and then only using the ability strikes so Vayne specifically after yeah. they have caught us to get yeah, away really from good. it. That's really good. That's really good. Just just focus on auto attacking is probably really good, right? How many um, silver just... procs can I get on this guy? Yeah. And then uh, uh, I guess for what was the other one? Um, uh, getting level three or first. I think you know that. I think just you just yeah. remember just push right. And last one was reading your opponent, right? So reading. how do we make a good habit out of that one? Um, reading my phone. That's a, that's a difficult one to think about how I could do that one consistently. Uh, focus on reading on focus reading the opponent. So just kind of, I guess, see what they're trying to do. Like just or, or just understand the the enemy champion and know what the champion wants to do. Yeah. When do we do it though? When do we do it though? Oh, uh, when when do we try and outplay them? Is um when 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 we have the outplay, but uh, when we have the sorry, tools for outplay. It's like a thing has to happen in game for you to remember this habit, right? Like, when do you want this habit to kick in? Is the question. When I have the outplay tools. Mm. Well, what, what, what does that mean? I guess. So, like, every time you have tumble, you can you're gonna think about what ability, what they're gonna do. Like, when do uh, we think about when they're gonna do? You know what I mean? In um, when it's when it's advantageous for them, I guess you could say. Like, whenever uh, we're losing. We need more general than that, I think. Okay. Like how like when when okay, so let's say for example, uh to make a map awareness habit, every time X happens we look at the map. So every time we kill a minion we look at the map, every time enemy jungle shows up, we look at the map, right? Anything like that. That would be like a, a habit for map awareness. Every time X happens in game, we want to do Y habit. So in terms of reading your reading the enemy, like what they're gonna do next, 
when do we want to do this? When is it relevant? Um, I, I guess like an easy one is like whenever like a catch support uses her ability and misses you, then then go in every time or look for a trade every time. Oh, that's true. But we need we need something for like every situation, right? We need to get even more. We need to get more general. Okay. Uh, so like say for yeah. example, uh, you lasted a minion. You need to read what their support is doing. That's an example. Okay. Right. So in lane, you'll consciously remind yourself. He's got hook. Is he going for this one or is he going for that one? Right. Like you go for a minion, will he go for this hook? So like, but let's say in fights in general, you could say every time you're about to take a fight, you can you can start reading what they're gonna do. You know I guess mean? you say like, so like every time a team fight's about to break up, just start planning. Uh, I, I I guess a good habit. Uh, so how about this? So like every time a fight's gonna happen, take a just a a a, a small amount of time to figure out to watch and see what's gonna happen before I yeah, just pretty good. something. That's pretty good. That's a good one. Uh, you can even say the guy you're fighting immediately, try and read what he's doing next. Like, okay, let me show you another one. Right? Okay. This, is, this is the one I'm using right now. Is The instant I, I get into a fight, I, I figure out their next move. So uh, let me show you this example. It's going to be kind of fancy, but uh, it's uh, definitely in line with our purposes. Okay. Down. What the heck? Why is that taking so long to find? Oh, I know why. Okay, we'll find. Don't worry, I'll find it in like ten seconds. Oh, good man. Yeah, I, I appreciate you taking the extra time for sure. Okay, right. we're just gonna have to do it done the, thing. the hard way. Oops. And not okay. this one. Mute. Fast forward. Okay, what is it? I'm about to fight this guy. So this habit should kick in. What is he gonna do? Uh, he's gonna step up towards you and hook you. Or he's okay, gonna I agree. Hook you. Okay, so let's watch. Stand behind your support, flash the hook, dead. Okay, easy, right? That's then, it. You solve for the you solve for the problem, which is this hook. We don't care about anything else, right? And what happens if I can't solve for the hook? Then you don't take it. Yeah, I let my pike tank it, right? We definitely make sure Pike is tanking this before I walk up. <laughs> I would have right. not stood still and pressed Q for sure. I would have like, yo, I'm I'm hiding behind my pike, man, right? Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah, otherwise we're definitely not taking it. Or you, you can be like crazy and like E sideways, but that's really hard. I don't, I don't think anyone would go for that. Uh, yeah, you need something, right? So maybe the instant you get into a fight in, in vain, read their next move, okay? Read their like basically the turning point in the fight. So. But and how to avoid it. That way the turning point is on my favor. And then I'm just winning 1v9 the fight. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. So sounds good? Makes sense? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I really appreciate it, man. Awesome, awesome. And if there was like another thing we saw that was going wrong, it's just you were sieging. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that shit. Don't do that shit. It's, you kill the towers when it's free. After you kill the enemy team, right? And then uh, I think a lot. I think you did have a lot of good mid, mid game habits. I think pretty much most of the time we saw in the other replays, you were just going to ward dragon and baron. That was really good. So yeah, keep doing yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. For and sure. You guys, you guys just did the dragon and baron. So. Yeah. It feels good. good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, man. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Uh -oh. I'll just keep you. I'll just keep you informed on you know wh whenever uh, how the game's going, and then uh, we'll just go from there, I guess. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Let me know how the game's going. I'll upload definitely to YouTube, do. send you the link, all that jazz. But yeah, definitely easy platinum. I think if you can like honestly implement everything we talked about today, that's that's like diamond, but that's like five different habits. So I don't know. There's a sure. lot of things. There's a lot of things to work on, <laughs> but I think it's there, right? The skill is there. We just need to somehow fine tune it. And uh, shape it. So. That'd be exciting. My, my 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 friends would be like, "There's no way you're gonna get the diamond." I'd be like, "You'll see what happens." No, it's it's pretty free. I'm not gonna lie. So uh, yeah, <laughs> as long as you consistently improve on these habits, like the worst is like you play a game and then you're like, "Wait a minute, what happened?" Like you were just playing, right? That's like the worst. You didn't get better. You didn't get worse. It's like stagnant. That's like that's what yeah. people call hard stuck, right? So always try and make sure you're improving something, even if it isn't something we talked about today. So. Yeah. Always coming up with something to improve. Never let it yeah, just go by. Because yeah, yeah. if you ever plateau, I think you're always regressing whenever you plateau, for sure. Yeah, agreed, agreed, agreed. You start building bad habits because that's what keeps you stuck there, right? So. Definitely, definitely. All right. Well, sounds good, man. Again, I really appreciate it, for sure. No problem, no problem. Good luck in your games, all right? Let me know how they're going. Definitely will do. All right. Bye. All right. Peace.